Hi, it's Bridget with Above Life Channel. Remember, the purpose here is to inspire your spirit and fill you up with hope. This is the post channel. I just did a transformative channel with David Bowie in the afterlife. And so this is the video where I'm going to talk a little bit about what it was like to channel him. You might hear my husband. I'm having a conversation with him. He's the cameraman. So we just finished the trans channel and I was sharing with him before I even thought, hey, we better record this follow up channel. Um, I was sharing how easy it was. He was so easy. He came right in. He wasn't disruptive in my energy. I didn't have to, like, I feel like, I don't know how tall he was, but I feel like he didn't do anything weird in my body. Like, it wasn't uncomfortable for him. It was fine. I felt him primarily from, like, my head, my shoulders, like, right into the heart chakra, like, halfway down my body. And then the rest of my body, I really didn't feel much. And so that was fine. But he didn't... He... And he didn't adjust me. He didn't make me change positions or anything like that. He was just very respectful of my space, which is really great in a transformative channel. I've channeled different people from the afterlife and they have different energies that they bring kind of forward. Some of their personalities are really dominant. And I wasn't sure what to expect with David. Um, I've talked to him before a couple of times and you're going to see another one of those videos that I did with him um, from the summer, actually. Right now it's October, so it was a couple of months ago where we just had a dialogue and we had a chat. And uh, getting to know him, I was getting familiar with him. And so I knew, I mean, I feel really comfortable with him. I feel super comfortable. Like, uh, like he's not like this big famous, oh my gosh, kind of energy. Like I'm not like overwhelmed by who he was. I just feel him very... Um, I don't know, he's not overpowering, I guess would be a good way to describe it. So I was really comfortable with that channel. I'm really surprised that there wasn't an accent because I have I've tried to allow myself to be open to that. And because sometimes like when I channel with Prince and I've done that so many times, he has slang, like he speaks, sometimes he'll speak in different, um, almost like we're in the 70s or something, real funky, you know? And he'll speak in slang that I'm not at all really familiar with, um, not at all like comfortable with, like it's not part of me, my dialect. And so when I say it, I sound like a Southern woman or something, like I sound like I'm trying to be Southern and I'm horrible at it. So I'm not good at accents, let me just say that. I'm very American. And so, uh, I, but I was kind of expecting him to, to do that, but he, he didn't, I don't think. Did he do it at all? Was there any of it? I couldn't, but he was so, I really have, okay, so I, he's right here, like I can still, I can see him. Like when he came out, he went out to the left, but then he's right here, like there's a big light right here in front of me, and he's like right next to the light, and he's got like black pants that kind of look like jeans. They're very metrosexual, very flat front pants. I think they're dark, dark jeans and some black boots. It looks like kind of boots, but they're flat. Um, shoes, what have you, and um, he's got like a vest on, like a black vest and a white shirt is what it looks like, and he um, is like standing like this, and he's like, that was good, right? That was, that was what, what we wanted to accomplish, that was, that was part, like, like he was respectful of my mission, my purpose for doing trans channels, is to bring forward the energy from them, not just from their human life and kind of, they are reflective and they will share that because that's part of what we need, what you need as a human. You need to understand that this was that, this spirit was this person. You need to make the, you know, the little string needs to connect. Otherwise it doesn't seem like there is even such a thing as the afterlife, you know? So part of the point is to recognize that we have soul, a spirit and a human body. So we have two different kinds of experiences, parts of ourselves and so he really understands that. I, I try to, he's like really evolved, it feels like to me, like super evolved. And maybe that's because, maybe in part it's because, um, well, you died of cancer, I think, right? Did he die of cancer? I think he did. And pancreatic, is it? Because he's pointing to his lower body, his lower, his guts. Um, he said, it doesn't really matter. He said, it's just, it's a horrible disease. He says, it's a horrible disease. And um, it's my family, he says, he's saying my family that suffered the most having to watch, you know, watch your loved one die is nothing I'd wish on anyone, he says. 
Um, but that gave me an opportunity to really think about what the point of life is. And so uh, that's what he's sharing. So. so he feels very profound in the afterlife, very um, reflective and someone I could just have a good conversation with. Like if he wrote a book from the afterlife, I could read that book, you know, and, and learn. You know, that's the point is to learn from the spirit. And they're not a person anymore, so they don't have all these confines that we have. They have this advanced view this advanced perspective. So in my transformative channels, especially in my transformative channels, I want to capture that. I want that to come in. And that's the mission is to do that. So you know that life is great for you right now. It's a gift and you need to live it. That's the point of Above Life Channel, right? It's your life, so live it. And so in order to do that, when spirit provides this advanced viewpoint of things, I hope it gives us some perspective to live better and to appreciate and the moments, you know? And so uh, he was very, I think maybe because he had time, he recognized in his last parts of his human life that he was dying. And so he could think about some of these things in the thought process of a mind. So I think his thoughts are easier have, based upon some of the other people that like died suddenly and stuff. His thoughts were much more collected and ascended and I, very easy to channel him, very easy. So, okay, so I'm going to ask my husband a little bit. So as far as content, because I haven't watched this. This is right. We're hot off just doing the, the trans channel. How, I mean, did it surprise you? How did you feel? Was there any content that was really stood out to you that you thought was like incredible, like, wow, okay, or, or anything that was off too? I'd like to ask that too. Is there anything first credible, really great stuff? No, he was very reflective. I, I think in, in life he was the same way. Um, you know, he, I think he thought about things, but I don't know for sure, but it seems to me he that... He seems that's who he was. Right. I, I mean, I think I, I think who we were listening to was reflective of David Bowie. Um, yeah, I don't really know him, to be honest with you guys. Like, I mean, I grew up in the 80s and 90s and stuff, and, but I, and I remember saw, like some dance songs, Put On Your Red Shoes and Dance the Blues or something. But I, don't, I wasn't a huge fan. I mean, I wasn't like punk or anything like that. And he was kind of that when I was younger. But one thing, another thing I think is that he, the, the people who watched this, an earlier video of him on Above Life Channel, um, uh, they submitted so many good questions and that's what we use today and I got about halfway through them and there are there are a, a, quite a few more really good questions wow. so I think we should do another uh, do you what do you what think what do you think above life channelers what do you think should we talk to David Bowie again what do you think make sure you comment below and if we do do another channeling session with him do you want a discussion session or a trans channel now trans channel t-r-a-n-s dash channel okay what would you prefer a discussion or a trans channel so make sure you put that in the comments because we have been reading your comments so that's where these questions came from great thank you for sharing that because i forgot that that's we're using a question list based on the very first video i ever did at above life channel again you can find more david bowie on the david bowie playlist on the channel as well all right is there anything else that you think we should address or okay well, oh, well oh. there is one more thing okay. uh and that was in the beginning he said there was significance to the timing of him bothering you uh, oh, today okay yeah but because it was a busy family late day let me just be curious he didn't or serious he didn't about elaborate on that unless it was just to um break up a rather hectic day for you i don't know and you too we're in the household together with four children it's a crazy busy sunday getting ready to back to school this week and lots of stuff going on today is sunday october 7th 2018. If you know what might be significant for David um, or for his family related to this date, it could be in history, in the past, again, October 7th, it is 2018. It could be that upcoming could be somebody's birthday. 
It could be his birthday. It could be an anniversary. It could be an album release date. There is some kind of significance to the timing of this. Again, October 7th, 2018. And why, Above Life Channel, would I ask you? Because you know best. If you're a fan and you're watching this video of David Bowie's, you're going to know. I don't have time to be Googling stuff up and looking stuff up. You people can tell me. You educate me. You are just as much in the know as I am just because I channel them doesn't mean I know everything about them. You know. So tell me, what is the significance? It might not be this exact date. It could be something coming up. Again, we're October 7th. All right. Again, put it in the comments. I try to read the comments. Thank you so much for watching this follow-up video. Again, go check out the playlist of David Bowie at Above Life Channel, and you can watch the channel that I'm talking about. Thank you so much for being part of this experience. I appreciate each and every one of you.